Aiden hit me in the eye, and I was like, what? Don't do that. Everyone's been doing that. What was that for? That. You poked her in the eye. Are you kidding me? These kids have been doing this way too long, way too much, and something needed to be said now. This is my Sister Wives update for January 2023. Drama, drama, drama this month. Mary officially left Cody and got caught up in family allegations. Gwendolyn and Peyton are basically at war. A mystery item was found in a picture of the boys. And Janelle went to Disney World. Also, Christine gave us a behind-the-scenes look at season 18 of Sister Wives. Let's start light with Janelle. Janelle and Savannah went to Disney World this month, and Janelle said that Savannah even convinced her to wear Mickey ears. She said it was cold there, and for any avid D Disney fans, the last ride of the trip was Guardians of the Galaxy at Epcot. Janelle came back to so much snow, in Flagstaff that Gabriel had to come to the rescue and shovel her car out for them. And the boys, Garrison and Gabriel spent Christmas with Peyton, Christine's son, and I think with a friend, and with a mystery item in the shelf behind them, which got a lot of fans talking this month. Looks like someone partakes in some activities, just saying. So let's go to Christine. Christine revealed a little while ago that it was her last time filming for Sister Wives in the Flagstaff confessional room, which she says is actually a garage. She now has her own confessional space in Utah, and she was excited to show it off. Sister Wives is currently filming season 18. They do tend to film over the holidays. And uh, wait until the end until I tell you what I think will be covered next season. Now, there is conflict happening between two of Christine's kids, but not between these two. Aspen and McKelty are mostly unproblematic. Honestly, under this picture of Aspen and McKelty, Christine said, My beautiful daughters have an awesome connection. As a mom, seeing them so close now makes all their fights growing up okay. Kind of. <laughs> the same cannot be said, though, between Gwendolyn and Peyton, their relationship is more rocky, complicated, more on that later. But Peyton did a three-hour YouTube live interview with John Yates this month and revealed a lot. He was definitely freely speaking. And the most controversial thing that he alluded to is that Mary wasn't nice to the kids growing up and that abrasive wasn't a strong enough word to describe what she was. Well, what was she, Peyton? He pointed us in the direction of an old tweet that Madison posted before completely deleting her own Twitter account, so she probably regretted posted th posting this, but here it is. Which may also explain why Mary wasn't invited when Madison was giving birth. Just saying. I mean, it would all make sense, wouldn't it? Anyways, Gwendolyn then commented on this and basically slammed Peyton and said, He's the most awful person I've ever had the displeasure of knowing, and I would strongly advise taking anything he says as fact. I would advise against giving him any kind of support, even if you're just watching the kind of content he puts out. Takes me back to the episode where Christine was leaving on a trip to see Hunter wrestle, and for some reason, like, it was not a question to leave Gwen with Peyton. So maybe they've had conflict for a long time, who knows? But there are definitely issues. I mean, every family has these issues, and it must be stressful for Christine. Gwendolyn and Peyton definitely have a past. Remember when Peyton admitted to hitting her? I don't even know how Christine is supposed to mediate this at this point. It's a whole mess. Christine has obviously not commented on the drama like any good PR person would tell her to. No one wants to stoke the flames on this. And, um, you know, she's just doing the Wednesday Addams dance with the hands and living her life. Love this clip with Truly in the background so much. Also worth mentioning that Christine's kids are by far the most vocal right now about everything happening with the family. McKelty and Tony now have P 
Patreon, and so does Gwendolyn, and she has a YouTube channel where she reviews the episodes, and not sure about Payton in terms of monetizing, but he's definitely spilling his guts in interviews. And now let's go to Mary. So she's remaining publicly unfazed. I feel like she's probably been advised by her management company or agent or something. I mean, trying to ignore it all at this point, but perhaps offered subtle shade in her birthday post. You be the judge. So she just turned 52 recently and she had said, spent birthday number 52 with a couple of my favorite people in the world. Many laughs, lots of good conversations, and tons of good food. On days like these, I'm reminded again of the humanity of people with good and honest hearts, the friends who have your back and stand up for you, and general goodness in the world. Mary has had a lot going on actually in the last few weeks. She officially left Cody, Peyton's interview was not good PR for her, and she had her birthday. This was the statement for leaving Cody. Her and Cody posted it at the same time. It's exactly what you would expect. We are committed to kindness and respect. We move forward with grace and love like police. Let's not act like this man did not disrespect you a million times on national television. No breakup is full of grace and love, but... Alongside her statement, she did kind of slam People Magazine, saying that they'd published something like a little while ago that said that she had left at the time, but it wasn't true at the time, but she is leaving now. So anyways, she is leaving now, but she says that People Magazine was wrong. Anyways, aside from the drama and messiness this month, Mary is busy promoting another one of her retreats at Lizzie's Heritage Inn, her bed and breakfast. This is a new thing she's doing at her BNB. You can go in February to the retreat, and this is what you get. Four days, three nights accommodations, three meals for the two full days, dinner on the first night, breakfast on the morning, two to five daily activities focused on self-love and empowerment. I think last time they did like biking and a sound bath. I don't know. Um, among other things, probably relaxation, rejuvenation, restoration, a goodie bag. And I want to know what is in that goodie bag. It better be good. Transportation throughout the retreat, photos, a connection with new friends, time to bond with Mary, etc. And so much more. So there you have it. A retreat about self empowerment. I don't know about you, but I definitely need rejuvenation right now. <laughs> Now, let's talk about season 18, which is filming according to Christine. I'm assuming that next season we'll probably see what really went down with Mary and Cody leading up to their breakup, maybe the drama of his and Janelle's separation as well, and Christine's new life, maybe even dating in Utah, probably the twins being born because the show loves births and stuff like that. Robin was there too, so adds to the thought of it being filmed and um it was a pretty big deal and maybe cody throwing tantrums about other things i don't know but uh what do you think will be on season 18 how many freaking sit downs are we going to have to endure this season i hope not as many as last season they're always sitting outside talking arguing ah uh. <laughs> all right guys thanks so much for watching my January 2023 update for Sister Wives, and I will be back soon. Bye, guys!